354 million. If he can hit him one more time with that icicles, yep. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Uh, looks like we got a new skill and a new ability. Hey guys, and welcome back to Dungeon Quest with me, Townsend. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. There has been an update for Dungeon Quest. I don't know why that took me a second to think about. <laughs> Anyways, there has been a new dungeon, uh, the Canals. Uh, it is level requirement 100 to enter it. And then uh, there's been a massive, I guess, update for, in that same update, um, for the starting area of for all low levels right as soon as you enter the game which i think it looks awesome now it's not so dark which is really cool um they have that dark theme going on like dreary smoke in the air kind of thing um but now yeah as you guys can see we'll run around a little bit uh, let's see if i can get my daily reward six hours 20 minutes Ugh, that takes forever the well it's gone now it's gone it's like a meteor hit or something they took it out anyways so that's all changed i'm sure there's probably like a ton of a ton of stuff i wish there was something like hidden place for like hidden items like like you know how you have the daily reward like uh like a chest hiding somewhere in a room somewhere um what the heck oh wow Can we swim under the world anyways <laughs> that's kind of cool uh but yeah, they've added a bunch of new stuff, or not, a new look to the game. Uh, not can't do nothing there. For some reason, we were jumping the whole time. All right, let's get out of the water. Come on, there we go. And as you guys can see, I do have some new armor and weapons, a uh, new defense area. So the armor, I have to say thank you so much to Laugh Out Loud Gamer. Uh, he hooked us up with the Ancestral Warrior armor, the Infernal Warrior helmet. And the giant royal axe. Um, I know the giant royal axe isn't nothing too great, but it is from um, what's it called? The canals, the new dungeon. Uh, we have a ton of stuff now. Um, I did go tank just because of the ancestral warrior, or not tank warrior, uh, because of the ancestral stuff. Uh, we also do have two flame cyclones now, so we can actually. Oh, it doesn't even show you the damage that we're doing. Actually, that's pretty cool then. There we go. 11.8 seems to 11 point, oh, yeah, 11 seems to be the height. Um, that's actually really cool, though, that uh, doesn't show you on novice, so any high levels don't hang around there, right? That's really cool. Um, and then, yeah, off into the distance here. It doesn't seem like anything special. It just kind of path leads to nothing world. <laughs> but with us, uh, you know, being level 100 now, I just got there this morning. Uh, we are going to try and get into the new dungeon. I have ran it once, have not uh, made it all the way through. I, I don't know if there's too many bosses or just one, but the second mini boss pretty much wiped our whole group. We weren't even playing hardcore. It was just, you know, if you die, you respawn, and it was brutal. All right, so I started the game uh, <laughs> as soon as we finished that just a second ago. Anyways, uh, there's a level 122 in our group, so we should be able to do this, no problem. But I am a dreamer, so we'll see. Uh, I am going to switch to healing, because healing still seems to be one of those things that people like to neglect. That. You might have a healer, might not. Right. So here's the level 122. And with, uh, obviously, the new dungeon, there's new weapons, there's new abilities. So there's actually some really cool looking abilities, like that one there. I don't know. I want to see it in slow-mo. It kind of looks like swords going into the ground and then exploding, but it might also be just the icicles, right? Holy cow, is he doing 316 million damage a hit? Took a big hit there. Okay. <laughs> if he's going to be... If we have another healer, we might as well switch to DPS, right? Okay, so here's one of the mini-bosses. I did... Um, run a dungeon with a uh, uh, person that was full tank and oh okay <laughs> we're just gonna hang back <laughs> like he one shot at us there that was brutal okay um but okay somebody let the 112 die or 22 die 
uh, not the greatest thing. Oh, there's a little guy running around. See him? The little blue guy? <laughs> so cl clearly you have to dodge that. Anyways, the tank. The tank was actually really cool. I've seen some new... I guess he gave me some ideas because what he was doing, obviously he had a lot of life. Um, he was using the taunts. And then what he, what he was also doing is he was healing within that. Uh, he was using, uh, I think, healing Aurora. So it was actually really cool. Um, and quite, he was quite powerful. He took hits like no one else and then, uh, you know, made sure that the rest of the group was not getting hurt. But that was in Samurai Palace. I don't know what be like here so but we will try that class out because i like i i'm used to tanks in world of warcraft so a tank would you know obviously taunt everybody and then uh yeah he would taunt everybody and then he can deal you know a little bit of damage uh, but it, it was the other way around on this one like it was healing and taunting everybody and taking the damage right so i don't know if this next guy is the next boss or if he's just a mini boss so I'm not sure how far the canals goes. This is as far as I've made it is to this next guy. This next guy is pretty difficult. So he drops, he does a bunch of um, AOE attacks, but there's, this, when you get to a certain point or you'll see a little um, blue uh, area pop up on the screen and I'll say safe. And you're supposed to run into that area because you're safe from whatever he's doing. We should probably see one. There it is. Yeah, so it's safe here. If we don't get in there, we're dead. And we got in there, but we died from the other attack. <laughs> so, uh, what was it? The one round that I was doing, we kept dying because of that. You couldn't get back to this safe spot before he would do his attack again. So that was the issue. And obviously, he's just another mini boss, which is kind of crazy. It's actually kind of crazy that this guy is level 122, and we like we are going through the uh, this dungeon fairly easy. I'm sure if it was hardcore, he'd have a different um, <laughs> different time about it. But uh, it, we are going fairly slow too. Uh, okay, I was about to switch to weapon or melee. But once again, it, as soon as we do that, we're just going to get in trouble. Oop, we're in trouble. I think I've died the most on our team. I should probably hang back. <laughs> this is brutal. Uh, oh, it's bad that it's me, right? Oh, hey. That's actually kind of interesting, the little stairs down. Yeah, you could definitely pull all the aggro one way, right? So, also, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I've, as I've been playing today, um, some people have said that the game is being buggy. Like, you do a run, you don't get the experience, you don't get the um, items, or you don't level up. What? 4.7 billion life? Okay, well, now we got to see what uh, this guy's abilities are. This is not going to be fun. Obviously. 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 Oh, okay, so there's like a little spot on the ground that you're supposed to run to. I can't even get to it. Where is it? Where is it now? <laughs> I don't understand this. I'm going to die a million times trying to figure this out. Just trying to get to that little bubble, whatever it is. Whatever it is. You just need to stay on the move? Probably. Ooh, come on. Come on. We're in the bubble. Alright, there we go. We got a new set of armor, new weapon. So we did get two items. Alright, so here's our new giant, giant royal axe. 66,160 uh, physical damage. 69, 66, but this has been upgraded. I didn't upgrade this. Uh, I think Laugh Out Loud Gamer did it. But either way, let's go like that. And then the armor. Salvage mage robes. Okay, so 4,128. Definitely, I did, yeah, Infernal, no, that's Warrior. Okay, I was like, what's going on here? The Infernal um, mage armor that I had, or eh, Guardian, 
or your yeah i had purple uh i did gift it to somebody else because i figured you know what we're gonna find something better and we did already uh 4124 2500 so i'm guessing the infernal purple would be around mm, let's say 3000 and ancestral i don't have a clue but let's see if we can't get into another game here and get some more items all right here we go again with the, oh we lucked out we got the level 122 again so once again we're gonna go straight to healing uh there's no point in trying to do anything else all right uh we have one guy with no armor on whatsoever <laughs> oh there we go uh Alright, are we gonna start this or what? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Game time. So hopefully we could get like some, you know, tank armor, warrior armor. What I'd like to see a little bit of everything, right? Uh... And now that we know some of the boss fights, we, we will know how to <laughs> better protect ourselves. Like this one has a uh, as a warrior, he'd probably be pretty difficult. He'd be taking quite a bit of damage from him, I would assume. I've seen some of the new uh, warrior attacks, and they're pretty cool. They're their abilities. Uh, what? Oh. Got a little guy inbound there. 81k. Wow. I think there's two healers here. Uh, okay. As usual, uh, chain heal is still slow. There, I've seen there's actually some new healing spells, so I'm happy about that. Okay. Just hang back. But being a caster, though, for sure, seems to be like one of the more popular things. Um, I'm not gonna say it's just for the canals, but just being a caster is more popular. Obviously. What was that? I think they, yeah, uh, casters do do a little more damage. I'm not 100% sure if they do more damage. It's just their numbers appear bigger, right? Like, warrior, it might be, you know, it's pro it probably comes down to the DPS damage per second. Uh, warrior's numbers are lower because they, they deal their damage quicker. But I, I could be wrong there. I'm just saying, you know, it's possibility. These are the things that uh, plague us all. Where is the safe zone? I need to be safe. Get into the safe zone. Nailed it. And I died. How did I die? <laughs> it said safe. Oh well. That's life, right? <laughs> the game lied to us. These maps though, they're getting pretty good. They're, uh, it's interesting though they went from medieval to this. It's kind of like a Paris or Italy kind of feel to it. Actually, I think it's, yeah, Paris, sorry. All right. Ooh, somebody leveled. 102 Mad Max. Or Mad Power X. You know he wanted Mad Max. You know it. Okay. Uh, beat you to death with my fans. We're going. We're, obviously, we're going a little bit faster than we did in the last, uh, last dungeon, right? And I guess if there was more of us do, you know, doing uh, damage, it definitely go a lot faster. But it does seem like because of our levels, we, we do need at least two healers. Um, the other healer does have an off, offhand, um, damage ability, so he's doing the illusion blast. 4.7 billion. Okay, let's see if we can't uh, figure out how to stay alive with this guy this time. Heal. I don't see it. Oh, there we go. Heal. Now, does this protect you? 100%? Okay, he does like a uh, giant blast. Okay. It doesn't protect you from his other attacks. Looks like it only protects you from that uh, 
giant attack he does. That one. So that's the one that was probably killing us over and over. Three hundred and fifty four million. If he can hit him one more time with that icicles, yep. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Uh looks like we got a new skill and a new ability. Alright, here we go. Inventory. Where are they at? So this one is Runic Strike. Summon a ball of runic power and shatter it with a swing damaging all enemies in front of you. Okay, we gotta take a look at that. And the other one right here. Electric slash. Uh, fling an electric slash forward, dealing damage to all enemies. I've seen this one, and it's actually pretty cool. We'll go like that. Go like this. So, go like that. We gotta turn off trading. I hate that it keeps turning on every time. But, well, let's see what this is. Okay. And then this one is that. But, we'll go up to the test dummies here. I'll show you guys the damage that we're doing right now. Uh, it's Probably not going to be too crazy, but we were doing 11 million with the Flame Cyclone. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Whoa. 79 million with that one. Oops. 81. Okay, we're doing some crazy damage now. Yeah, that one's pretty good. It deals a lot of damage over time. It's, this one is definitely a Warrior's uh, attack. Alright, so we're going to try and deal more damage this time instead of... Uh, healing because we want to see you know let's actually help right and hopefully the person that was healing last time ooh, this uh this guy that's uh tanking it for us he's level 110 uh roblox 0921 dealing some pretty crazy damage i don't know what that's one of the newer abilities also ooh, a little bit of a hit there Let's run back here. Somebody else died. I don't really like the our Q ability. But our E ability, I really like that one. That one's actually really, really, really handy to have. But we're definitely going to probably have to switch to maybe an offhand heal. Uh, without using, you know, a spellcaster's or a, uh, a weapon with spell, what is it, plus the spell power. Uh, it is difficult to actually get, like, really good heals out there. So that's why I don't want to heal too much. Uh, this round just because we'd have to be switching between weapons all the time It's kind of disappointing Yeah, we should probably go to an offhand heal It's not gonna be crazy heals, but uh, it'll give us something Did our level 110 leave? He did He left us Oh, that hurts That hurts a lot so that, if you see the person that's uh, level 104 there, he has 525,000 life. Crazy amount of life. Oop, and now I die. <laughs> I think we're just going to end up resetting this one because it's definitely not uh, in our wheelhouse to win here. There we go. Just need to keep getting as much experience as we can. We're not getting all the way to the end. So I'll bring you guys back when we get back to town. All right, you guys. So obviously didn't get very far in that one. <laughs> what was the first mini boss? Everybody took off. I tried to de kill him by myself. Didn't happen. Like I said, uh, nope. There. Yeah, inventory. Electric Slash is definitely a lot better than a Runic Strike. Runic Strike is pretty cool, but uh, Electric Slash is definitely one that I like here. But yeah, other than that, we didn't get any... You know, too fancy uh, of loot, but uh, getting two, two new skills for what we're playing is pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.